a familiar hand from home. It is indeed a skewed, archaic misunderstood analogy of the duality force. The only demons, the only evil that exists in duality planes are those created by inaccurate thought in the learning process of free will. There are no fallen angels. How could a being of light created by a divine source divert from what it is? Angels, do not have free will in your terms. Rather they have divine will. The supreme gestalt of all that is, is the substance of the reality that underlies all appearances and manifestations that are called life, including matter, antimatter, non-matter, energy and non-energy, thought and the absence of thought. And we tell you, there is that, which exists even beyond this. You may not fully comprehend this axiom from your duality perspective, or perhaps do not feel that this is within your field of conception, yet I would tell you otherwise. But it is ever your discernment that must be honored, in order to expand as you grow into greater awareness of your God Self. The coded nature of light. The earth is diversely luminous receiving and disseminating light in a variety of unique frequencies, formats and bandwidths, each offering its own benefits and qualities. Light contains information, codes and colors in its spectrum of varied oscillations which support the earth and indeed, humanity. While the sun of your solar system is the primary source of light received on the earth, it is important to know that it is by no means the only source. Other sources include the great central sun, stars, white holes, and light beings. In a valid manner of speaking, light beings, those far beyond your scope of angels, provide a light that is unimaginable to you. We at the caveat that all light from all sources has a natural filtering matrix and dimensional spectral distribution. Most humans are only able to physically perceive quanta of light that occurs in the visible range of the light spectrum. You are aware that humans require sunlight to sustain healthy physical bodies. Yet we tell you that the beings that live in the inner earth also receive light as a necessary nutrient. We offer an angelic wink as we give the right notification that many of the planets in your particular corner of the cosmos, including the earth, have more advanced humanesque life forms internally than on the surface. So what is the source of their sustaining light? It is a polychromatic light emitted from the crystalline core of the Earth, well above the visible range. Polychromatic whole white light works directly with the twelve chakras of the Merkayana. It is pristine and complete, containing all frequencies, all spectrum, all creation codes in both wave and particle format. Sunlight does not you will in time inhabit the inner earth. The 2012 completion of the crystalline grid will bring changes to the way the earth and mankind will receive light. The 144 grid will begin over the next two to three centuries to influence the direction of light waves. It will have the capacity to attract refract and disseminate light from one dimensional medium into another. Carbon base to silicon base the wave velocities received will be different from the velocities refracted. It will be capable of singular and double refraction. It will be capable of refining polychromatic light into singularly coherent factions and coherent polychromatic light. New forms of light in crystalline and non-polar morphals will be emitted. The grid itself will breathe, 
and that respiration will enact even more complex geometries beyond the double pentadodecahedron of the 144. The physical matrix of humanity will symbiotically evolve, as a direct result, into formats that embed and spawn greater abilities to retain more thick coated light. The body will become a source of light appearing semi-translucent, less fixed in density, mass and gravity. Humans will physically evolve from carbon-based life to silicon base. It is crystalline illumination, for silicon is unique in its crystalline symbiosis to light itself. A new Sunday masters, the Earth sun and all of the stellar and planetary bodies in your cosmos are conscious, and are in that consciousness, an aspect of the angelic ray all, albeit specialized. And even so evolution is occurring, especially in your solar system. Your sun is changing. It has been a conditional sun, in aspect to the earth. It has played an unperceived role in the duality aspect of planet Earth since the fall of the firmament. When the new 144 crystalline grip completes in 2012, it will begin to create the seeds of the new firmament. This will in kind allow for the sun to provide unconditional light. The very manner in which humanity absorbs light will upshift as will the ability to perceive above the current visible spectrum limitations. The crystalline transition of the Earth is the base source of the planetary ascension. It offers greater light, more complex light to humanity. Accordingly, the greater aspect of light is becoming available to humanity, and light removes shadow, and offers greater understanding. The angelic root elm is an enormous part of your expanded awareness in the ascension. It is time to open to the true nature of what is angelic. Discernment is key. Think not that we desire to forcefully impose or have you change your chosen stance on God, religion or the nature of your own being. Your beliefs Values and chosen opinions are sacred steps of your free will and are fully endorsed by the all that is one of which you are a divine aspect. The mode and manner, the experience and format of your evolution is your own creation, and that is by individual design. There can be no other way to complete the university of earth. It is not a role of the angelic nor the Ascended Master's counsels to make choices for you. We are holders of information that you may utilize, refashion, reject or accept. It is your choice, and we tell you that each of you will graduate in time. Love is ever the key, and cause and effect are great and greater teachers that all of you will learn from. Experiencing duality and learning mastery and root is why you entered the course. Closing. Masters, the beautiful completion is occurring on the earth. It is a sacred event that all of you have co-created. It is time that you illuminate to the great and greater aspect that has always been within you. The dreamer is awakening. The expansion of light is the expansion of truth, of understanding and is the doorway to the return home. Like the angels, you are beings of light. As yet, most of you have no idea how important you are, and how the evolution that you have created in yourselves has expanded the cosmos. Before we complete we ask you to do something very special. Take a moment, and direct your energy to feel the energy of light, of angels. Now feel us. Be absorbed in this angelic countenance of peace and well-being. It is a moment of solace, is it not? 
It is the energy of source, of home, of light, of love. It is angelic. And you dear ones are feeling the frequency of our nature of your source nature in angelic beingness of sacred light. It is nice, isn't it? Every enlightened being who has walked the earth in final mastery, exuded an energy that feels a lot like what you just felt. People were attracted to them, loved them. All life responded blossomed in their presence. They created joy effortlessly, because that is the energy of light and dear ones. You are human angels, and can and will evolve in kind as you return home. And in that sacred path, we of the angelic realm honor you. We await you, and promise to leave the lights on for your serendipitous return. I am Metatron and I share with you these truths. You are beloved. And so it is. Channel through James Tiberone. Website. Earth-Keeper.com. Email. Tiberone at Hotmail.com.